Dragon here. You did. You got what? What you drag home yesterday? <laughs> From the concert series? <sighs> oh, I think it was almost two years ago that uh, I fell in love with this Suzuki. We were doing uh, first friend Elizabeth and some dedicated friends kicked off the Bear Mountain Music Hall. Uh, we had a big gathering and a common friend who is. Quite a unique individual, interesting woman, uh, who cleans out barns and paints barns and fixes tractors and you know tries to sneak tractors all the way down Route 302 in the dark and you know stuff like that. She's done some some interesting stuff. Had to be cleaning out a barn, and they came across this old instrument, and the lady she was working for said, well, geez, just do something with it. You know, pass it on to something. So she dragged it up to the music hall, you know, laid it on the table, said, anybody wants to play it, play it. So I played it, and there's pictures of me playing it. And it was like one of the funnest pictures I've had taken in a long time, me playing this silly instrument. And then, uh, you know, it was kind of forgotten. She ended up giving it to my friend Elizabeth, and it's, and Elizabeth has is, is got, you know, the, the descent, so it was kind of like, well, that's kind of cool, you know, it's kind of like there's a historical connection. You know, I'm mean, not, it's, uh, that's, this is my mind thinking. And a couple of weeks ago, um, I was talking to her and we were talking about stuff. She says, do you want this instrument that I'm talking about? And I said, you mean the one that, end, that uh, such and so ended up with at the music hall and that uh, I played like all afternoon and was lusting after. And she says, you were? I says, yeah. <laughs> so she says, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> you know? I mean, it just it came to her because, you know, it needed a home. She says, I'll give it a home, you know. And she says, I had no idea that you were so much in love with that thing. You know, and it's like, and it's silly. You know, because you know me, the bagpiper, the, you know, Irish folk singer, the Americana. You know, the you know, Satan chased me around the stump and, and all of that. And so, I haven't decided what to name it yet. <laughs> I thought about Chivago, but that's kind of like, you know, maybe Laura. I, I called it Babushka and I got a really odd feeling from it. It was like, yeah, no, you don't call me Babushka there. Uh, Anglo. So, we've got... And it's a Soviet era bazooki, a, a, a prima bazooki, because bazookis come in six sizes, as I've found. I've been doing a lot of reading on bazookis because it's like, I'm getting a bazooki, I'm getting a bazooki, bazooki, balalaika, balalaika. Prima, <laughs> back the tape up, please, Sanjay. Well, the balalaika. <laughs> And I'm just so in love with this. I have, uh, I, I've cleaned it up. It's got, you know, it's a folk quality instrument. It's not, you know, like a real uh, high grade, but it, it's no junk. And it was made in Russia. I can tell by the label. I read the label and I didn't understand one word that was printed there. So, somewhere it says, I could make a balalaika. And that was about it, yeah. So, here we are. We've got it's got these were illegal to manufacture in the United States since the 40s. And Barack Obama of all people resigned the ban on manufacturing balalakas in the United States. They're legal to own, they're legal to possess, but don't you, you know. So it's like, what have we been doing since 1940? Has this been this federal hit squad, you know, busting down the doors of little balalaka labs, you know, and arresting people and smashing all the half done balalaikas here in the United States? <laughs> What's up with that? How can you ban a music? I mean, that's archaic. How can you ban a balalaika? Well, it wasn't just a balalaika, there was a whole bunch of stuff that 
that you couldn't do that was Russian. Home of the brave, land of the free. So, here we go. We've got, we've got to do a, is that a truck horn? I still got the window open. I've been dying since I got it yesterday. It sat, had to sit in the car and wait for me while we did the show with Jack Jolie, which was really great. The cheeks and reels, and, and I met some new friends and, and stuff like that. It was really a lot of fun. We'll get one more show up there, and we're closing down for the winter because there's no heat. I think we ought to do a blanket Sunday in there and have everybody come in in their sleeping bags and play music in the album. <laughs> so that's the story of... Me and the balalaka. Cool, huh? Hey, why not? And now that I've, you know, put the, the Russian army song out there onto the interwebs, I'll probably get, you know, something. I'll get throttled or, you know, stymied or, you know, cockamamied by the government. Oh, wait a minute, no current administration has ties with Russia. So, <gasps> did I say something political? It's a joke. It's a joke. I love you all. I'm the dragon. Mad every maiden Besides no longer Onward.